couple years ago, uh, we introduced our Sleep IQ technology, where we've transformed the bed into a health center. Um, so as soon as a sleeper lies down in their sleep number, smart 360 bed, we immediately pick up their heart rate, their respiration, how much they move during the night, and we analyze that. We send that up into the cloud, and we send them a report card in the morning on how well they slept. And then using our ecosystem of connectivity to uh, activity trackers, to your thermostat, to all the other things that you report on Apple Health or Microsoft Health, we now have defined sleep as a 24-hour activity instead of just a nighttime activity. So all the things that you do during the day affect the quality of your sleep at night. And with our biometric data and our advanced analysis, we are now beginning to identify health trends that over time can redefine how people think about their health. Sleep is going to be the future and the center of health and wellness in the United States, and the Sleep Number 360 smart bed is going to be the center of that as we collect all this data. The Sleep Number 360 bed uniquely uh, collects more data and takes the big data that everybody is just thirsty for and makes it small and gives it back to the user so that they can use it smartly, intelligently, to change their habits, their nighttime routines, their environment to get a better night's sleep. And we can also take that data and inform our innovation so that the sleep number bed, the, the 360 smart bed, actually does something for the consumer without them knowing it. It's effortless technology. It's a beautiful um, application of big data to uh, effortlessly help people get a better night's sleep and then go ahead and inform them on how their days are gonna be better because of that. So, for instance, when you get into a sleep number bed right now, with our smart technology, when you change sleeping positions, for instance, the bed recognizes that and makes subtle changes to make sure that you're still very, very comfortable. So, that's a very small example, but over time, we'll be able to identify with our data trends and our artificial intelligence, machine learning, we'll be able to identify uh, precursors to something like a heart attack or uh, sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome. Some of those things that you have to go to a clinic to get diagnosed, we'll be able to use the data that we have during every single night of your sleep to go ahead and inform you. So over time, we will absolutely change the way people think about their health and wellness through their sleep. We've had a lot of people uh, tell us that they've watch their sleep IQ data every single night, and they learn that what they do during the day affects it. I'll give you a good example for me. I'm a marathoner. Um, my bed told me the best time to work out. I found that just fascinating. Um, I have found that when I do my very long runs in the afternoon, my biometric data at night when I'm trying to get a good night's sleep is still in the marginal area. My heart rate's still elevated, my respiration's still elevated, so then when I shifted my long run workouts to the morning, do a 15, 12 mile run in the morning, by the time I go to bed, everything's recovered and I get a better night's sleep. So my bed told me when the best time to work out with. We hear dozens of stories of that a day of people who said, you're right, I shouldn't sleep with the pet in my bed. You're right, I shouldn't have caffeine afternoon. You're right, if I use my smartphone right before I go to bed, I get more rest, less sleep. So, we're informing people. People don't know what healthy sleep looks like, what healthy normal sleep looks like. We're helping them define that, and then when we see something that's different in their sleep, we help them inform them about how to change those habits so they get better sleep.